I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Getting ready to drill a three quarter inch hole. I decided to use a spade bit. You've probably seen one of these before. They come in all different sizes. And this tiny little quarter inch all the way up to this inch and a half monster. They do a good job. They cut fairly aggressive. You don't need a lot of power to run it through the wood. They don't cut a very smooth hole. They're more for rough construction work where you just need to punch a hole through and put a piece of wire in or uh, to make clearance for something to go through like a piece of plumbing pipe. I've got the drill bit all cleaned up now. I'll show you how to go about filing the edges. Now you don't need a vise. I just got one so I'm going to use it because it's handy and it keeps the camera in focus. Makes it easier for you to see. I'm going to be using what's called a safe edge file. This file doesn't have any teeth on the edge. It just slides right across there. The reason I'm doing that is one edge of this file is going to go up against this part of the blade while I'm filing this part of the blade. I don't want to cut a notch in this one, so I'm using the safe edge file. You can buy these or you can make one just by taking a grinder and grinding the teeth off the edge of the file. See the angle that I'm holding this at? I want a relief on the back edge of that blade. So as it goes to the wood, the front edge is touching and the back edge is not, so it's not rubbing. When you're cutting with a drill, it's very similar to cutting with a jackknife. You need to have the jackknife at, a, at a, an angle so that it'll cut into the wood. If you try and go like that, you end up just scraping. Not very efficient. It does cut, but not very good. If you go too flat, it just rides across the wood, hardly doing anything. You need to have it at the right angle so that it digs in and cuts. Now what's the right angle? Well, if this is laying flat, the back of the blade, or we'll call it the heel, is rubbing and the edge doesn't actually have a chance to dig in, it just slides across. So we want to have the edge of the blade removed back here so that it doesn't stop the blade from digging in. You just file until you see a shiny spot all the way across the blade and then check the edge of the drill bit to make sure that you've got a good edge on it. Now be careful. Don't stab yourself or slice yourself with a drill bit. You're going to be making it sharp. We want to have about a 15, 10 to 15 degree relief angle on that blade. So usually if you just set the file across and you can feel it rocking on there, the original uh, angle is still there. Maintain that. File at that angle until you see a, a shiny spot all the way across. Your shiny spot should start at the back edge and work its way forward. Now we need to sharpen up this edge. We want to be about 15 to, 10 to 15 degree angle on that part of the blade too. Watch when you're filing. That edge is sharp. You don't want to run your finger up against it. If you're more comfortable, you can use two hands. And have a better control of the file's angles. Now we've got one side sharp. We want a nice shiny edge on that right there. Now we're going to flip it over and do the other side.
at the leading edge sharp and both cutting edges sharp. Let's give it a try. Let's see how it does with this little quarter inch drill. Not bad. Just a three quarter inch hole in there, just about as fast as you want to walk it through. If you were going to cut an inch and a half hole, you'd want to have something like a half inch drill motor, just so that it has enough torque to handle that kind of a bit. That's how you sharpen it, and you can see the result. If you have a suggestion for a video, or a question that you'd like to have answered, something I can answer, of course, just drop a note in the comments below. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.